So we are going to talk about the agency dilemma. Core to the idea of agency theory is that one has got a principle which employs an agent. So by means of example we can think of the principle as the company that we are working with and the agent being a specific person in that company. In this case I want to talk about the incident manager or the help desk manager would have a similar idea. So the incident manager acts on behalf of company X and there will be at least an implicit, often an explicit arrangement about what would be good agency. In the case of the incident manager, that is probably to resolve incidents fast and as many as possible. However, if we have got another agent, which we will call the problem manager, which clearly is in control of the problem management process, he or she's got a different arrangement with um, the principal company X. For them, the idea of thoroughness and getting rid of root causes is extremely important. Fast is um, probably not that big a deal. Uh, so are the number of things. We're not really counting. We're not really timing. Um, so what can now cause a dilemma is if the incident manager and the problem manager are the same person. If he or she gets appointed and they need to play both the incident manager and the problem manager. What happens now is that there's a conflict. This person is wondering about their payment, their bonuses, about the recognition uh, they might be, get, uh, be getting. Um, they would be worried about things like promotions. Um, and uh, Essentially, there's a very obvious conflict. The, the, as problem manager, the emphasis should be on thorough and um, maybe not so much on speed, not so much on uh, numbers, but very much on thorough. However, if a problem manager or as problem manager, this person pays attention to that, necessarily there would be slower response from the inc as incident manager and uh, maybe not quite as many incidents will be resolved because this person is going to try and meet these conflicting objectives, these conflicting arrangements that uh, he or she's got with the principal. So this way we can think about many um, relationships in our business and whether there are conflict of interest in because one person is playing um, the role of many agents. Another example is where the arrangements with the principal are conflicting even in one role. For example, let's have a service desk manager and let's talk about the service desk agent here. Now they get the message that what the principal expects is to uh, resolve as many incidents um, as possible at first touch which means they should spend maybe a little bit more time on the telephone 
to try and make sure that uh, they whether they can help the person calling however through another mechanism uh, in HR the service desk agent and in this case it's the same one so we can actually draw it like that the service desk agent gets the message that they will be incentivized based on the number of calls handled and the number of calls handled will give them determined to a large extent their bonus so what is happening here in the one as one agent the emphasis is on solving in the other one it is on throughput and if I am upping my throughput I am going to down the ones that I actually solve so there we've got another explanation of agency theory so agency theory really is about that conflict that gets introduced and which we because we're just human possibly struggle to resolve.